Welcome back to BGP Lifestyle, guys. Another cold day here. You know, it's just, it, it, the weather's just not great. Uh, it's, it's not what I want to work with, but, but we did get a package in the mail yesterday that we've been waiting on for quite a while now. I, I've said it, I don't even know. It's been probably weeks now that I've been saying this, but we finally did receive the headlights that are gonna go on the car. So right now we have the halogen. I say headlights, but we're just replacing the bulb. So the reason I'm going with the bulbs for now is because I don't wanna go spend a thousand to $1,500 to install some headlights, HIDs, whatever it may be. And there's always a chance that it could malfunction because you're swapping HIDs into a spot where it's normally made to have just halogen bulbs. So. Basically, that's what I'm looking at, and that's why um, I decided to go with this. So, I did get these sent out to me. Um, so, it's kind of like a little review. They sent me out, uh, if I can get it out, they sent me out this uh, this kit. So, this is from uh, Last, Fit, uh, Last Fit, I don't even know how to say it, but uh, they sent this out to me. They reached out and they wanted to do a review video on the channel here. Uh, so, I checked it out, and it looked good. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and check it out. Now, first impressions, the quality of the packaging is really phenomenal, which I'm actually going to go inside the car here. So let's, let's do that. All right. So here they are inside the car. You can kind of see maybe a little bit better. So there they are. This is the packaging. This is the box, custom future, whatever it says. But once you open this baby up, if I can do it with one hand, the quality of the packaging is actually phenomenal. So a lot of times when I get something from, uh, from companies, that are sent out like this, I get really cheap products um, from like Amazon, whatever it is, and they're not the best, but they're not the worst either. But this one, I will go ahead and give them a huge thumbs up on the packaging. These are actually quality products, which I'm surprised that they reached out to me. But yeah, so here's the, um, Here's the box, like I said, nice, thick, that's the company, that's the website. Link will be in the top of the description. There'll also be a 10% off discount code if you use code BJP at checkout, and that'll give you 10% off your order on their website. So, swinging down here, we've got a nice little pamphlet here. I'm assuming this is gonna be installation instructions as well as a Allen key. I'm not 100% sure on what that's for, but let's move this out of the way and uh, get this over so we can look a little bit better. Now we've just got two LED bulbs. They do have the little fans built in, um, as you can see here. Again, the quality is actually pretty good. Uh, they don't feel super cheap, it feels decent, uh, which is nice because I don't want to put anything, especially in a headlight, that's gonna uh, malfunction and break on the car. Again, like I said, packaging really nice. Um, nice and sturdy packaging. Wires look good, connections look good. Everything overall looks good. Then these are the little caps. You do get replacement caps. Um, and then these are just gonna obviously wire in and they have little fans. So we're gonna go ahead and install this. We got about an hour of light left today. Uh, it's getting dark early, obviously. So hopefully we can install these uh, fairly quickly and get a decent uh, little install. I always say things hopefully go quick, but they never do, so. I'm gonna look at the install instruction and see what that key's for because I don't know if I need to do anything. I don't think I do, but if not, we'll go ahead and jump into it. So here's what it looks like with the uh, stock halogen bulbs in there. Um, it might not be easy to tell on camera, but they are the yellow halogen bulbs. If I stand in front of them here. Um, also the fog lights down here, um, which are gonna have to get changed, obviously, if I'm going to be upgrading it but I just wanted to get this quick before because they finally came in so hopefully I'll be doing this tomorrow or something so this will probably be in the middle of the video but uh, yeah so this is what the output is looking like here um, it's pretty low I mean it's not super bright and it's worse when you're inside of the car so I'm definitely thinking that it's gonna be a lot better so I figured I would go ahead and grab this quick sample and then we'll, uh, we'll update it in the future all right, so after looking, I have no idea what that Allen key is for, but I think it's fine. So looking in the little book here, we got the install instructions. There's also a video that they have done. Uh, I'll link that down below as well. Uh, it's a full install thing on their end. I'll go through it on my end when I install them here. But for the most part, I'll uh, link that so you guys can get an exact uh, up close in-depth uh, installation. But you do get a two year replacement warranty with these, which is cool. And like I said, you can get uh, get these down below in the first link with code BJP for 10% off. So I'm gonna go ahead and move the car, turn the wheel so that I can get this, but it is freezing out. And uh, I, I, don't like, I don't like the cold, so let's get it started. Let's, let's, uh, let's throw it in reverse a little bit, back it up so I have a little bit more room to work. We're just, we're hanging out in the car here. I don't think it's, I don't think, I think it's fine, guys. Throw it back in park and just turn that wheel. 
I think all the way to the right maybe? I don't know. Let's turn it off, grab our headlights, and head out here and see what we can get done with this installation. Now, the only thing I think you need is some gloves. So, I do have my standard mechanics gloves that I use in every single video, which is gonna help because it's freezing out here. It is so cold. So, we're gonna go ahead and head down here and I think we're just popping this cover off. So, I'm gonna set up the camera and get to work and I'll update you guys as I go. Tons of stuff coming out from there, so. Let me move this camera over here for you so you can see better. And then I think we're just supposed to find the housing up in here. It's supposed to be a little cover. So I just looked up in there and I have to go like straight up to find this thing. But I just wanted to show you guys, it is, it is chilly. It's 36 right now, but it, it says down here that it feels like 28. So we're definitely below the freezing mark. Uh, it's not uh, the best weather to be doing stuff in. But we're gonna go ahead and reach up here and see if we can uh, find out where this little uh, spot is that we need to be. So on every single install video and every single guide that I can find anywhere on the internet, it has these as being a cap like this, where it's a plastic cap that just snaps off. On this, it's a big rubber block. Like, it doesn't make any sense. It's like a big rubber cap that's like, there's no room to pull on. So I don't know how you're supposed to get it out of there or unseal it. Like even if you unseat it from the edges, like it doesn't come out. Just not sure what you're supposed to do here. See, so every single one online does not have it being this rubber piece. It's a plastic cap that just snaps in. But on this one, it's this big rubber gasket type. That is a pain to remove. So make sure you guys note that if you guys have a 2018, I would assume. I don't know what other years have it or why my car has it, but make sure you note that because that is not fun at all. I think we're gonna be replacing it with one of these though. So hopefully these go on a little bit easier than that one came off. Now we should just have to reach in there and pull this bulb out. All right, so we got the old halogen bulb right here. Pop that baby out. And this is what we're gonna be replacing them with. So you can see we're going from this to this. I will note that getting that out sucked. I went in with my right hand and pulled down with just one finger, cause that's all you can really get. And then I reached in with my left and kind of was able to pull it the rest of the way. But that is an absolute hassle. Now we have to try and get this whole setup to fit back in there. So now I think we have to remove the cap off the LED, which I'm assuming it's just like that. I think we're supposed to connect it here, this, just like that. And then we're supposed to put the cap in first and then put this in and then connect everything and put the cap back up. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I'm just gonna go for it. I don't know if they're actually tightened in there. Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to just send it and say that they're probably good. Cause they're not really turning and locking in anymore, but there was no real indication, so. I'm gonna just call it there and try and force all these wires back in there now. All right, so I'm having an awful time out here. I'm gonna be honest with you. You can see the sun's going down. It's it's about dark, and uh, this is and this is what we're doing. We got the whole uh, we got the whole air box out. So it's over there. So basically, we need to get in down here, right underneath this little piece of the frame right here, and get this cap on. So now I need to figure out how to do that, and then hopefully I can get it from this angle because I can't get it from the other one. So I finally got it seated on there. You can kind of see the difference here from the halogen to the LEDs. Um, I'm gonna give you a better shot later on. I did show a shot at the beginning, hopefully. This is what we're working with with the LEDs. I had to go in through the top. I finally got it and it got seated in. Uh, hopefully I can beat the clock on the other one. I don't know, we'll see. But like I said, then this one's still halogen, so we gotta work on this one now. All right, so we finally finished and it is 6.10 now. So it took us uh, a lot longer than we wanted. Um, I actually had to take out, you probably can't see a thing, but I had to take out the air box on this side. On this side, I took out the whole trim panel. You really can't see anything, but I took out the trim panel and I finally got them in. But I want you guys to hear this. Let's close this. I want you guys to hear how loud these things are. Now, I'm not sure if they're actually supposed to be this loud, but we'll go ahead and turn the car on. Or just put in an accessory so that they stay on. Leave the door open. I don't know if you guys can hear it. I can hear it really loud. But look how bright they are, guys. Now, they're super bright. Um, the fog lights are currently off. So it's just these lights that are shining. And we're getting a really good output compared to what we had before. 
Um, I'll show you guys a shot where they're up against a wall so you guys can actually see the difference. So it's the next day. It's a little bit brighter out. I mean, not really that much brighter, to be honest. It's still pretty dark out. Um, at least it's not pitch black like it was. It did rain, so hopefully the seals on the, uh, the headlights uh, were put on correctly when I put them back on last night in the dark. Um, I had a big fight with this side to get the bulb in. Once I got the bulb in, it pretty much the cap went on pretty quick. But uh, overall, it was a super pain. Like I said, I think I put the clip in, but I removed the entire air box out of the hood, uh, out from under the hood and everything just to get in here to be able to get the cap on. Uh, hopefully, it's, like I said, sealed up pretty good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put some shots that are showing uh, what it looks like after against the wall, just like I had the uh, before. Um, overall, the Jeep's looking good, though. The LED lights are bright. Like The one thing that I said, if I go ahead and pop in an accessory here, is these fans on these are cranking. So both lights are working the next morning. So... They look fine. Um, like I said, I'll show you in the dark. The fans are cranking though. They make a pretty loud noise. I don't think you'll be able to hear it, but you know, it is what it is. They're, they make a little bit of noise, but it does have two fans on it to keep the LEDs cool so they don't burn out. Before the video continues though, I do just want to let you guys know, just a quick sneak peek. We are going to be having some awesome merch coming. Um, I just This is the first idea of it or the first announcement of it. It's probably going to be coming close to the end of January. Um, in future videos, I'll start announcing that with a date um, of when it's coming. Uh, but it's going to be awesome. It's not going to really be like BJP on the merch kind of stuff. So it's going to be a really cool brand. These birds are yelling. They love it. So it's going to be awesome. So definitely stay tuned for that. Um, I'll let you guys know more as it's coming. But And now that I have the headlights done, uh, we should be able to go ahead and do the windshield tint like we've been wanting. I'm thinking I'm going to do 35%. I think 35 is going to be the number. I know it's a little bit high. It's kind of like, or a little bit low. Um, it's a little bit dark, but it should look good with the 20% on the side windows to make it not super dark, but just dark enough. Um, I'm really excited to drive around tonight and see how this looks in the dark with the lights. See how bright they are and see how they hold up. Hopefully you guys can see me. It is dark out now. Uh, I finally got it out here in the dark. So this is what we're looking like. That's, that's, that's the output now. Um, I think I think they look a lot better. I mean, that, that's pretty bright. I am parked on an angle so I can get a good thumbnail pic. Let me turn back this way or this. Let me turn back this way so you guys can see me. Um, I am parked on a bit of an angle so I can get a good thumbnail picture, but as you guys see, it lights me up. It's so much brighter than it was before. You'll be able to tell from the previous uh, pictures at the beginning of the video of what it looked like before in the same spot to now. And it is just so much brighter. I just went for a drive out here in the dark and it just looks so much better. It's so much brighter, it's clear, it's got the nice 5K uh, white color rather than an ugly color. Now I need to figure out something about these amber bulbs or reflector kind of setup things in there now maybe. But I don't know, that'd be a future video. So that's gonna go ahead and close out this video here. So if you guys did have any questions or comments or anything, leave them down in the below. Of course, if you guys want to get these, like I said, link top of the description. Use code BJP and you'll be able to get 10% off your order. Um, of course, like the video if you got any information or if you enjoyed it. Uh, that's going to be about it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.